Hello, Possum Strainer Smith here, back in Alphacraft with some semblance of a voice. You'll have to excuse how I sound, but hey, at least I can talk again. <laughs> um, I'm heading back into town. I've been at my base for a oh, better part of a week and a half. I haven't really been able to do anything so I've been doing lots and lots of grinding but I now need to go back to town pick up some stuff I know Wild has left me some granite I know someone left me a box of granite on my doorstep whoever that was thank you so much um, that's really needed but I know Wild's left me some more as well and I need to pick that up I also know that Sea Love has done something to my house, but I don't know what. <laughs> I have been avoiding it for the last week and a half because I've had so many people say, you have to be recording when you go in there. <laughs> so I've had to wait till I've got some voice back. So I will meet you over there. Oh, it looks like Dibs has made himself a house. Isn't that cute? He's got his head above the door. That's a little weird. And a letterbox. We'll have to send him a letter. Okay, here we go. I Oh... Oh, wow. Someone's gone a bit bonkers with breeding turtles. <laughs> it's definitely the turtle pond now. It's been ages since I've had a good look around. Oh, wow. Look at Sea Love's house. Oh, that is cute. Cool. I'll bet he's got an AFK fish farm in there. Okay, here goes nothing. Have you ever wondered what happens to people that don't subscribe and turn on notifications? And that should be who, because it's people. It's important to sub to at least Sea Love Gaming. Drainer doesn't just slay foxes. Don't be like these poor souls. <sighs> oh, sea love. Well, you know what? I needed skelly heads. So, thank you. And seriously, guys, if you think I kill foxes, I really do have land to sell you. And it has a bridge attached in Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I shall clean this up. Hmm. We shall have to think of something. Hmm. Ten skelly heads. Thank you, sea love. Although you get Llama Garcia back. Hey, sea love. Thanks for the heads up. Let's find this granite. Ah, oh, look at that. Loaded up with granite. Let's head home. I'm back and a little bit's changed. I should show you this. I now have a building around my mine shafts at the base of the gearhead frame. So 
I got a little tired of coming up and not being sure what was going to be waiting for me. So I love that view up. So we've got a little room all the way around it. Um, I've got chests here with picks. I'm not sure what the shovel's doing there. That'll have other supplies in it. Maybe some extra food. And yes, I've got to put supports in. But it does mean that my mine entrance is now finished. Now, I need a number of other buildings. This one's nice, does its job. I can come up out of the mine. I don't have to worry if it's day or night. But we need, what do we need? We need an enchanting room. We need storage. We need a brewing room. So today, we're going to build none of those things. We're going to build two things that are completely cosmetic, that have absolutely no point to them beyond being here. And they are an engine shed for the winding engine, for that, because at the moment the rope's just... I've only got one rope done. We'll have to do the other one. But it just ends. So we need an engine shed. And this is going to be a stack. Now, a stack is a very tall um, chimney. Uh, you've no doubt seen them on large industrial builds. I might just lob some andesite about. And what their job is in reality is to direct fumes away. In the Cornish tin mines, that includes arsenic. Arsenic gas is one of the side effects of mining tin. Did you know? What a happy thought. There we go. And of course, when I was building this and I was talking about mining areas in England, I forgot the Norse. I forgot the north of England. Um, Yorkshire, Lancashire, Leicestershire. And of course, up around Newcastle. Um, I spent my teen years in Newcastle in New South Wales and Australia and it was called Newcastle because it was another coal mining area. Um, so of course, mining infrastructure, all those places. But as I said, this is based on the Welsh one because it's red. So, um, those three, sorry, I've got a little pattern. This is the base of the stack. Alright, that's the base of the stack done. The next layer is granite. This is what I needed the granite for. <clears throat> How can I have forgotten one? I'll have to remember to replace that. Now, so I don't end up with mobs spawning in there. And we'll put a roof on it. There we go. Now I just have to build this up very high. And I think possibly the best way to do that, maybe a third person time lapse. Plus, it gives my voice a chance to rest. Let's get on with it.
There we go, one stack. Oh, why are there so many creepers here? <clears throat> I have enough supplies to get started. I still can't believe I fell off that scaffolding. How stupid was that? And I had about 40 levels. Oh, I knew I should have enchanted first. Oh, anyway, enough whinging. Let's get started on the engine shed. Yes, polished granite. And yes, brick. That's just the way it is. But not entirely brick and not entirely granite. I am mixing in some stone or stone brick anyway. Okay, let's get this engine shed done. Uh-oh. And I should have realised from here. I've built the entire thing. I've built the entire thing one block too far forward. Right. I need to shift it. Right, everything's now moved back one. As you can see there and there, except for the back wall. This, oh, this is taking me ages. That's not right. Oh, every time I think I finish this, that's really bad. Right, that's the centre. Oh, that's better. Well, that was easy to fix. Okay, I've got to get the roof on and then we can look at the doors and the windows. There we go, one engine shed. I've put the glass in, but I think the windows can look better than that. And we kind of need doors. <laughs> And we do need the support infrastructure for the winding engine itself. I don't know if I've got enough bricks for that. We'll find out. But I think we can start with the doors. So spruce doors and then spruce trap doors. Yeah. And I seem to have left my lanterns back in the hut. So we've got to hang two lanterns off there. Okay. Now, oops, if we come around here, we've got our back stairs. And, oh. There we go. One, two. Again, we need lens, but that's the doors for the upper floor, which we have to put in. So the windows, they're nothing too complicated. Uh, 
let me just get one done if I can get it done the right way round that would be great and then brick stairs or stone brick stairs and stone brick walls and oh, I don't have any scaffolding on me I'll need scaffolding all right but I will just go along and get this part of the windows done and then I'll grab my scaffolding and I'll put two granite polished granite slabs on top of those upside down stairs just to spawn proof it plus it looks better Now, I've been meaning to say all episode and I have been forgetting. Thank you so much, all of you, for your well wishes while I was voiceless. I really appreciated it. I was very touched. So thank you so much, all of you. There we go. That's the front done. I went and got the lanterns. And... I've got both sides done like that. Well, I know it's not brilliant, but you know this is an industrial building. It's, I suppose, a Victorian-style industrial building, so there's a little bit of decoration on it, but not a lot. It's not supposed to be the prettiest thing in the world, which is just as well, because it isn't. Now, we've just got to do that. I think I've got everything on me. have a look at what we can do. So I'll we'll start with that. Uh, give ourselves a bit of a platform and let's get placing. Sorry, I'm really starting to run out of steam now. I love that we now have granite walls. I'll be happy when we've got polished granite walls. Oh, we're such an ungrateful bunch, aren't we? They finally give us walls and we're saying, I'll be happy when they give us other walls. different way to the way I did it. No, oh, that'd be right, wouldn't it? All right. Let's see if we can get this finished. That should be it. Let's have a look. That's it. Yeah. Okay. My throat's really had it. My ear's starting to hurt. So I will do the infrastructure for the winding engine off camera. And that way, if I don't have enough brick, which I really don't think I do, I can go get some. 
but that's not bad. That's starting to really come together now. <laughs> Me in a big industrial build, who'd have thought? Although by JJ and Wild standards, it's not that big. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to croak off. <laughs> if you like this, you know what to do. Whack the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell if you do and select all. And I will see you, hopefully with a clearer voice, next time. Bye.